I've been asked the question, when will the Philippines reopen to foreign tourists? And so I thought I'd do a quick video to give you my thoughts as I see it. I want to preempt this video and say that this is not a channel to debate or push your strong views on coronavirus to other viewers of this channel. We're all adults and we can make up our own minds. And such comments only seek to divide and upset others, which won't be tolerated here. And I'd appreciate everyone respect my channel in this regards. So back to the video we go. And I've been following this topic closely over the past 12 months or so, and have done several videos on the progress the Philippines government was making towards having green lanes to speed up things to allow foreigners from certain countries who have been fully vaccinated to be able to come to the Philippines. Now, of course, the videos I'd done and my thoughts around this were all prior to the Delta strain of COVID hitting the Philippines. You may recall that my thoughts were at the time that the Philippines were aiming to get green lanes in place by December of this year in time for the Christmas festive season. This certainly made much sense around giving the economy the boost it most certainly needs. Not to mention, since the country closed borders, millions more Filipinos are struggling to put food on the table, which the government acknowledged. And that gave me a sense that they knew they had to find a way to get the economy rolling again, as many other countries around the world are realising right now. But what I've seen in recent months since the Delta strain hit the Philippines is that the news is not all that positive. And that's why I haven't posted anything around this on my channel for a few months. Things are very tough for many people right now, so that's why I want to post positive stories that give people hope that they'll soon be able to travel to the Philippines to be with their girlfriends, fiancés or wives and start to get on with making a life together. Now, since the Delta strain, it seems to me that the Philippines has changed their plans around reopening. No one really knows what they're doing behind the scenes, but it certainly appears now that the green lane idea has been put on hold. They now seem to be focused more on getting 70 plus percent of their population vaccinated before looking at reopening the borders. And in fairness to the Philippines, many other countries, including Australia, are doing the exact same thing. The problem for the Philippines, as far as I see it, is that they have 110 million people in the country, and to achieve the herd immunity that many countries talk about, the Philippines will need to fully vaccinate around 70 plus million people. My understanding, as of a few days ago, the Philippines are only sitting around the 15% fully vaccinated mark. So how long will it take to get to where they need to be? Now, the government says that they have an ongoing supply of the doses coming into the country each month. But still, it really seems a slow process, which is usually the case with developing nations who may not have the money of wealthier nations to be able to increase supply, or those nations may get pushed down the list of importance. Now, this aside, and I've always made it a point not to criticise the Philippines government, as I'm a mere foreigner living in a foreign country but I do have family in the Philippines that I greatly care for. One big issue, as I see it, is the vast majority of the vaccines being administered throughout much of the Philippines, and especially in many province areas, are the Sinovac vaccine. This is the Chinese vaccine that many developed countries won't use or allow to pass their strict guidelines. Now, they say that this vaccine certainly hasn't the efficacy of, say, Pfizer or the AstraZeneca vaccines. I'm certainly no scientist here. I'm just an ordinary man who, like every other person in the world, has to look at all the information provided and make my own views based on that. Now, my understanding is that with the Sinovac, they say it's only just over 50% effective, which means only one in two people will be protected against the virus compared to 90 plus percent of the other two vaccines mentioned. The reason I point this out is because, let's say 50 million Filipinos become fully vaccinated with Sinovac, then the reality is that only approximately half of those people will be protected. If this is the case, then they may think that they've achieved herd immunity, but they could be far away from it and still wondering why people are still landing up very sick in hospital. 
When I look at what I've discussed so far in this video, I certainly now believe that the Philippines won't be able to safely open any time this year. And for me to try and estimate, or guesstimate, when they may reopen to foreign tourists is almost impossible, because there are so many unknowns at play here. However, I do feel the longer they keep on issuing Sinovac, then the longer it may be before they open. And getting millions of doses of vaccines with higher effective rates will of course take some time. We all know that nothing ever moves quickly in the Philippines, and this seems to be no exception. My sincere hope is that the Philippines will reopen in the first half of 2022. But am I confident? Certainly not. I feel for all those couples out there who have been kept apart and missing one another for such a long time. This certainly gives a new meaning to a long-distance relationship. But more so, my heart is broken for all those wonderful people in the Philippines who've lost any income that they may have had and have now struggled for such a long time. I truly can't imagine what they must be going through and how they're trying to survive on a daily basis. My heart and prayers go out to each and every one. So again, we're in a waiting game, and I'll watch with interest for any information that may come which indicates the government is looking to reopen their borders to the rest of the world, and I'll be sure to pass on any positive news in the future. But for now, we just sit tight and watch, hoping that somehow, sometime soon, things change for the better. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.